Another fire we were watching yesterday morning. It was our breaking news. Let's get you an update on that. It's in Goodlettsville along Springfield Highway. We'll Google map it, show you where we're talking about. That mobile home caught fire around 3.30 yesterday morning. Now, we spoke with the family. They did say that was the second fire of the night. The first one, a grease fire around 8 p.m., and firefighters were able to get that one under control. Everything now, because of that second fire, is gone two days before Christmas. The Red Cross is putting the family up for the next three days. A word of caution for people taking the I-55 bridge across the Mississippi River just outside of Memphis there for the holiday travels. The FBI is warning local authorities of a possible plot to blow up that bridge. That's according to WREG, our affiliate over in Memphis. The FBI received an anonymous tip about the bridge but added there is no, quote, actionable intelligence that something will actually happen. Well, it was supposed to just be a routine traffic stop, but it turned into something much more serious after police found some very suspicious items in a safe in the car. The News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley, live for us in the newsroom. I was surprised by finding out there's a safe that they're traveling with, Cuthbert. Yes, yeah, Steve, I, so were police. They pulled over this man, 28-year-old James Fintel, because they say he had an, a warrant out for his arrest. He gave police permission to search his truck. When they did, they say they found a safe, and once they were able to get inside of that safe, they found materials they say are used to make explosives. We're talking about a jar of energetic material, fuses, igniters, batteries, and two small metal pipes. Put all of that together, you have a very frightening situation, the possibility of a pipe bomb. This happened back on November 28th. Again, he was wanted. There was an outstanding warrant for his arrest. When they searched his truck, they found these explosives as well as some other items, syringes and some other paraphernalia used to shoot up heroin. But this is where it gets interesting. Even though the safe was found back in November, he was not arrested and charged with these explosive materials until last night around 915. According to police, he admitted that it was his safe, but he told them I forgot the combination. So I was able to speak with a Metro Nashville officer this morning, and he tells me perhaps the delay of those charges is because it took officers a while to actually get inside of that safe to see exactly what was in there. But again, explosive materials, they say that could have been used to make a pipe bomb. We don't know any information about if there were actually any threats this guy was putting out there, if he was going to use it anywhere, but no doubt a, a frightening situation for sure. Now, fentanyl has been charged with the possession of explosives as well as a drug paraphernalia charge, and his bond is at $18,000. He is expected to face a judge on these charges Friday morning. Steve? All right, Cuthbert, thanks for the update. Police identified a man found in the Cumberland River. Robert Wilson is his name. His body was discovered over the weekend by boaters. No visible signs of foul play, but investigators still don't know how he ended up in the Cumberland River. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 7-4-CRIME. One of the young men involved in the sexual assault of a 15-year-old Hopkinsville boy in Kentucky has been released on bond. That's according to the Kentucky New Era. Dylan Jones appeared in court and had the bond lowered from a whopping $1 million down to 500000 in real property. Jones arrested back in October, accused, along with several others, of assaulting that 15-year-old boy and then sharing it on Snapchat. The attack left that victim with life-threatening internal injuries. A man going for a meeting with a drug dealer ended up getting kidnapped instead. Newspaper reporting now that two men met last Thursday in a parking lot off Woolridge Lane in Katie's for a marijuana deal. Police say that Tavian Spencer took Anthony Center's money and then held him against his will. Both were arrested. Center charged with trafficking pot. Spencer facing drug robbery and kidnapping charges. Well, five months after a man is in five months later, a man is in custody accused of killing a former Blackman High School student. Corey Marchbanks was taken into custody yesterday morning, indicted by a grand jury for the July shooting death of Deshaun Sawyers. Sawyers and four others were going from Murfreesboro to a Brentwood house party when they stopped at the Exxon on Harding Place. Gunshots rang out. Sawyers collapsed in front of the store. Police say it was a drug related crime. Well, you don't have to worry about construction traffic starting today because of the holiday. The State Transportation Department is halting all lane closures for the holiday season, with the exception of a few long-term closures that they say need to stay in place for safety reasons. Starting at noontime today, all of those other projects will be suspended, 
and they won't pick back up until January the 5th at 9 in the morning. So you've got a couple of, uh, about a week and a half. The department is expecting 2 million drivers on Tennessee roadways for Christmas and the New Year's. And while the gas prices are going down, and that's great news, Tennessee's gas tax might be going up. Uh, according to the Tennessean, Governor Bill Haslam thinks a proposal for an increase might be introduced when the next General Assembly goes to the Capitol in January. If approved, it would be the first increase for a tax in 25 years. Right now, Tennesseans pay about 39 cents of tax per gallon of gasoline.